18 steps to analyze any song or doing mock-ups. 1. Check what key the song is in that is the shaja in Carnatic music or root note that we call in Western music. 2. After key is found, try to find the scale of the song. Movie songs sometimes will be in mixed scale or you will be unable to find the exact name of the scale, so it's okay to find out the notes going up and coming down and notes accidentally used. So finally you can remember by a scale name with addition or deletion of some notes. To your understanding is more important. 3. Next time signature of the song. Example 4 4, 3 4, 5 4, 6 8, etc. 4. In a time signature we can have n number of grooves 4 or in it. So we have to find the groove of the song. 5. In that groove, in that accent harmony will be moving along with bass. So you should find the block chords first. 6. Later after finding the block chords. So same chord in what accent, or what grooves. We have to write it down per bar to whole song. Main changeovers in groove. There may be chances for three to four grooves in a song. Or it depends on the genre. There will be one main beat that is groove others slightly variations of it, along with some pickups and drops and fills together. 7. Write the melody notes of the whole song and BGMs. 8. So now you have the melody with notes, chords in block chord style, accented chords that is groove in which harmony is moving. 9. Now you have to find what is textures used for harmony. Example piano. Guitar's list is endless. If it's synth arpeggio, what pattern is moving in? There will be a certain pattern for that harmony. Maybe chord note in some pattern up down, up down up, etc. in n number of varieties. 10. Next you have to check and verify each and every step the volume of each and every sound along. With automation considerations. 11. Next comes the important thing, that is bass line. What is the sound of the bass? Obviously, it follows the harmony and groove. But we have to take a note of it. Is it a slap bass, acoustic bass, synth bass? The list is endless. 12. By all the above points, we have keep on dissecting minimum of 100 songs so that we can have different templates or different mindsets of the composers and programmers of the successful songs. They might have not done with logical like these points. It's their intuition. But by following these steps, you can virtually go into their minds of composers and programmers. Even if there's complex orchestration, you can dissect it part and part and learn it and apply it in your arrangements. 13. More important to have learned that template or pattern, or whatever you call. You have to compose a new melody in same style or same genre or same scale. And follow all the points. 14. By doing this to at least 100 songs you will really improve as a programmer and be getting updated forever by listening songs of others. Happy mock-ups making God bless. 15. In Tapanguchi and rhythmic action cues rhythms play a major role. So you have to dissect the sound of rhythm frequency vice like highs, mids and Bass. 16. You can roll off the high and hear only bass. Roll of bass and hear only highs. Rolls of high and bass and hear only mids. By hearing you can recreate things. 17. Use the powerful Isodope RX for splitting stems into four stems bass, other instruments, percussions, and vocals. 18. Practicing more is the key for success. God bless your ears always to make right decisions.